people be like, oh, our troops are wearing masks. I love the troops. I should wear a mask too, because I want to defend my country and the people in my country and, like, be a good citizen and, like, <sighs> shutting schmuckatellies up. This is KZ from the Hazy reporting in. Hello, my name is Isaac, and this is Voice of a Veteran, my series where I talk about my time in the military, my time as a veteran, and military and veteran topics. Um, today's um, reason for doing a little video was um, a story came out today in the Military Times and a bunch of other um, media outlets talked about it, um, was that one third, one out of every three military f people are refusing the coronavirus vaccine. Um, this happened today. Well, this report came out today, um, which is about two weeks after uh, the new defense secretary did the most defensive thing the Department of Defense has ever done. I'd say in my opinion, but I think the numbers back me up. Um, it's the most defensive thing the Department of Defense ever, uh, has ever done, and that was just putting a military mask mandate um, in effect, so that if you're on base, you have to be wearing a mask, unless you're in your house, or the only one in an office, or if you're eating, but it's indoor and outdoor, and... It's good they did it now, um, but I wonder what the difference in messaging from this administration and this commander in chief has done to the morale, um, because it's just so much different between Biden and Trump, how they responded to it and um because it's been almost a year since they probably should have done it i mean by march last year maybe april they should have already done this but um you know um politics and science denial and not wanting to deal with it like it's just if they would have done this last March, hundreds of thousands of Americans would be alive right now because we all know how much troop worship there is in this country. And if the military and the Department of Defense and the whole government really, but especially the military, if the military would have put the mask mandate in effect last March easily we would have been hundreds of thousands of people less dying because people be like oh our troops are wearing masks I love the troops I should wear a mask too because I want to defend my country and the people in my country and like be a good citizen and like <sighs> I heard so many veteran people I knew um, and it was one of the main reasons I got off of Facebook um, so many of them like complaining about I don't want to wear a mask I don't want to have to wear a mask all day long and then have to go to a grocery store and wear a mask it's not fair it's it's big bad for your breathing and I'm like dude we were in the military like we had to get smallpox vaccine and now we're going back to the first story where a third of the military is saying no to the vaccine 
like I had to get the anthrax vaccine. I didn't have a choice. I tried to get out of it. I was like, oh, I might go see my cousins who are kids and my uncle and aunt are old and I should wait. But they're like, well, you have to get it. So you're either going to get it here in the States or over there in Iraq. Um, this was 2008. So I got it. It sucked. I'm, I'm just really bad with needles. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I just have to lay down when I get a shot. So, um, yeah. Uh, so like, it's so interesting to me, um, how this is all panned out when the virus was unleashed on the world sometime early last year maybe even late 2019 but so many other countries didn't have hundreds of thousands of people died and they took care of it yes it was a little authoritarian but how the United States could have done it was if the troops are wearing masks and following precautions usually the general public will follow and be like okay that's good we should do that so like out of everything that Trump did the worst thing was like being ridiculous about the virus because like he definitely killed hundreds of thousands of people just because of him being just totally ignorant and selfish about not doing anything and worrying about getting votes and stuff instead of, oh, yeah, we probably need to shut things down and, you know, not do anything for a few months, but that didn't happen so what are you gonna do but now we can do something about it I don't know if they should well I mean I was in the military if you're in the military you deal with it like they <laughs> if you join the military you have like hardly any say in the matter especially for a virus vaccine that we've already there's hundreds of thousands there's millions of people who've gotten this vaccine now so it's like um yeah if you're in the military you should be forced to get this vaccine i'm getting it on monday so don't say i'm being whatever and like I'm also not saying I'm the best with, <coughs> or I'm not saying I have been the best with masks, but um, I'm going to start wearing the double thing where I've got this one. I got that at Costco, and then I have this one that I'll put in front of it. And guess what? All you veterans who are complaining about wearing a mask, like we dealt with so much worse y'all are being ridiculously wussy and remember like the gas chamber where you had to wear the mask and then take it off your face and then put it back on and you know um run after that or whatever you know we can deal with wearing a mask we can be that good example of listening to the experts and just doing something that's not going to kill you because it's not for you it's for other people and making sure they don't catch whatever's coming out of your dirty ass mouth so and especially if you're a veteran you already had so many shots you'll be fine and if you won't be i mean that sucks but shit there's one offs of everything so um basically the ending gist of this is please wear a mask it's not that hard I'm putting it on as I break my front door now so like 
and I'm going to wear two now, so. And I'm obviously not always going to remember, and we're all not perfect, but we can try, and we can deal with people saying, hey, can you, like, put it over your nose, because I don't want to catch this. I went to Iraq twice, all right? I do not want to catch this, because I breathed in, like, a lot of trash fire, because one of my jobs was to... Um, drive a Humvee either in front of or behind the trash trucks that we threw everything in and burnt everything off base with jet fuel which I sat 200 yards away from once or twice a week for six months straight so my lungs Oh, I don't want to have to deal with the coronavirus. So please wear your mask for me and other veterans who have to deal with that. And, um, you know, if you're a veteran too, get the vaccine. It's free. You've dealt with worse. And, you know, defend your country for reals this time. You know, defend your country from a virus instead of just spending a bunch of money and making sure contractors have money um yeah that's about it have a great day peace out and um stay motivated